All right, so this is for Geminis. Hi, Gems. We're going to jump into your bonus. Let's see what the angels have for you guys today. So Gems, I just did your singles, but this is going to be your last read of the night. We're going to see whatever bonus messages we do get. I could be picking up on the same message. But let's see what the angels want you to know. For Gemini's, please. For Gemini's. Thank you, angels. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, so Gemini, someone is thinking about you really bad, and I feel like it's someone that doesn't have any money. <coughs> Excuse me. Someone that's having a really hard time getting together, and you're coming off as someone that deeply understands and want to be there for everyone. And this person, you know, I feel like this person is okay with you being there for them, but at the same time, they're really trying to make their own way. So tell me more. I'm getting a Capricorn um, Virgo Taurus energy, Aries Leo or Sag. I'm getting a MasterCard, which is Leo as well. So I feel like this person really is attracted towards you. You're coming off as someone that makes them happy. I feel like there is <clears throat> this huge decision that needs to be made. And you have made it. Okay, because the judgment is actually here. So we're getting two major cards here, Libra and Leo. Okay. But some elements of Aries, Leo, or Sag. And Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Tell me more. You're going to have to make a decision for a new beginning, for a new life. And I feel like this is going to be coming out for you. And I feel like we already talked about this in your main spread about you being at your crossroads. But this is coming up for you. But something, this person wants to tell you something, but they're moving very slow. What is this about? Tell me more. Okay, something that is incomplete, they feel very incomplete, the way things ended between you and them. This is what I'm feeling here. Okay, so there's so many things that need to be said. This person is coming in, charging in, but I feel like when they do, it's not going to be the best conversation. This person doesn't think. I feel like they like do things and then think about it later when it's all over. But I'm seeing the 1111, which they still want a future with you. And I was getting that vibe of them being very attracted to you and looking at you as a person that they can definitely trust. And, you know, someone that they can tell their secrets to and they know is going to be solid and it's, it's, it's going to be safe there. So I feel like this person wants that. They have this blissful happiness with you. And I feel like you feel the same way with this person. They're just thinking about you really hard, but they don't have any money or any kind of stability to give you. This is what I'm feeling here. You know, they feel like you definitely deserve someone better. This person that's coming through, you guys, doesn't have much confidence within themselves here. I feel like they feel like you've been holding up the whole situation for them or carrying this whole burden for them. And, you know, it's just something happened very incomplete with you and this person. Why... Because the way they're coming in is very like, okay, like, they could be loud, they could be very energized, like the energized bunny, and it just comes off the wrong way. Their emotions are not entwined or intact with you when it comes to, you know, fighting for your behalf. But things are going to change. I feel like because they're realizing that, you know what, they do miss you, they do want you in their lives. They're going to plead for another chance, and it's going to be a little bit dramatic. This is not something that you're going to be used to. I don't see you walking away from this person, but it's a huge, 
um, something huge happened between you and this person. Why it just wasn't complete. Like you didn't learn what you needed to learn from this person. Or this person is like feeling like without you, they don't feel, you know, they don't feel good. They don't feel complete. You are, you make them feel like this. And this is why they're coming in to ask you for a second chance here. But you're looking at this relationship as a burden as well. At least with the experiences that this person gives you. But there were some good times too, you guys. You can't lie to me, okay? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Temperance. So tell me more about this. <clears throat> tell me more. We have the Knight of Wands. Ooh, look at this. I'm just going to take them all. Okay, thank you, angels. What do we have? The Chariot in Reverse. This person is afraid of you. I feel like they're afraid of you and they have so much bull crap going on that they're not making a choice to actually come off to you when it comes to love. If that makes sense. You know, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, energy. Here they are again up here. And I also see that this is like they're causing you a lot of pain and deceit and like why you're doing this kind of energy, you know. But I feel like you're going to be choosing yourself or choosing some time out for yourself, nurturing yourself. This is all about nurturing everybody else and not nurturing yourself. Yourself come last with the Queen of Wands, for me as a reader at least. And, you know, you're just like taking care of everybody around you and forget about yourself. And this could be, you know, very dramatic for you. You know, you're taking care of this taking care of this future or given that investment that it needs maybe planning for it even talking about it with this person and you know realizing that damn you forgot to take yourself out you forgot to feed yourself you forgot you probably have a a bad relationship with food where you forget to eat or you just eat whatever um and you're just not taking care of yourself but the angels are with you in a lot of aspects in this reading and let you know that we are watching, we've been watching, and we've been got you, okay? And you need to take care of yourself right now. You need to look yourself in the mirror and choose yourself and, said, and, and say self is important. Because this person around you doesn't have any confidence within themselves, so how could they have confidence for you and be able to take care of you if they're not even taking care of themselves either? So remember to love yourself and to value yourself and make sure that yourself can first. But... With the lies or with the deceit, I do feel like this person is going to choose you and to bring some kind of balance or some truth into this aspect, even though it's a little bit too late for them because the justice card is already here. Not justice, a judgment. Libra, twice over, for those of you that are with a Libra. But there's going to be a huge form of stability. Oh, huge form of stability coming up for you twice over within this reading because this person waited a little bit too long to take care of this you're divinely protected and you know people out there need to be careful when someone is divinely protected you know there is so many signs around this person around this person's home how this person care of themselves the way they speak what they speak about that are signs of this person being divinely protected spiritually protected you know their beliefs and so on I'm um, not saying this person have to be in church because church is your heart. It's where your heart is. It's the position of your heart, okay? That's your faith. That's your. That's what, you know, the universe will be judging you off of, your heart. Not that you're in this church with a whole bunch of people praising, you know, God and then going to the club tomorrow, okay? <laughs> yeah, not wrong with a club life because I go to the club sometimes, so... But I'm just saying, okay? So, listen. Let's go back to the message. But look at this stability, though. Stability. Six of Pentacles. And I wasn't even looking at that. I just looked at, you know, twice over. Libra. A huge form of stability coming back to you. A huge form of protection. A huge form of guidance. A huge form of, like, whatever you have lost within this relationship, you're going to get back. Wow. What a what amazing reading. Even though this person is really stuck into something, I feel like, you know, with a chariot here, they have so much things that they haven't told you about, and they're afraid to tell you. They're afraid to tell you the truth. They're very, moving very slow about this, and it's a lot to do with money. I feel like, you know, by the time they come to you and feel a little bit more confident in what they're going to tell you, 
is when they did get that position, when they did get that offer. Um, and then they're going to come present themselves. They might be a little cocky because the way they're coming off to you, very cold and acting like, you know what, I'm the victory here. I'm, I'm better than everybody else kind of vibe. And it's, it's like, wow, the angels are stopping that right in their, in their, in their path. Like, okay, it's enough is enough. You're not getting any closer to my person, you know, but eventually they're going to be like checking themselves and realizing what they have said to you was really, really bad. But this is what I have for you. This is your bonus. This is your little message for the night. I hope you guys are just blissed and happy the way I am. Know that the universe is with you and I'll see you guys in your next read. Bye guys.